Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Will here, and uh, as you can tell, I have a multi battle going with a with a partner named Will, and uh, we're going against Ivan and Ryan, which is supposedly a extreme duo combo. And um, when I look at this team, first of all, uh, well, Ivan's team. Uh, I know that he's probably going to start off with that freaking rock berry Pokemon. I still have no clue what it's called. But I know I don't like it. And um, I'm pretty sure Ryan would be starting with his uh, Galvantula. Because he can get up the Sticky Web. And, um, and I think it's called a Carbink. Has the dual screens. And um, so yeah. That's what they uh, did actually go decide to go with. And um, when I first did this battle, I knew that he would go out with his carving. So I started off with my Zizor. And uh, I can easily just one hit KO it with a bullet punch. And that's pretty much the only reason I have it. <laughs> and uh, Will is going to be using his Dusclops with uh, Eviolite, which is, I, he says it's pretty good. I personally have a Dusnor. So I probably will try that out. Maybe it's as good as it says. So I will go for the bullet punch here because I did not want this thing to set up on us. Which could have been terrible. And uh, it does work pretty well because he is one hit KO'd. And now uh, I'm pretty sure Ryan said that he has uh, the ability compound eyes plus wide. Some, some item that increases the accuracy. And uh, so his thunder is actually like... 102% accurate so I know it's always gonna hit and uh, knowing this I probably decided myself to take out that Galva Galvantula because it could just thunder away our whole entire team and uh, he does go for another thunder right here and he takes out my Mega Scizor but uh, I don't feel too bad for losing Mega Scizor because I already took out the Carbink and that's pretty much the only reason he was here and uh, now that uh, things aren't going too well right now, it seems like things are about to go really south for us. Uh, Will goes for the Confused Ray on the Gudra, which is really good because now it's confused. And the chances of hitting itself is really good. And the Curse is also going to be doing the damage on that Galvantula. So it's actually turning really good for us right now. Uh, I do have a Needle King. This is, uh, I think this is my, probably my second Needle King I've ever used. I'm not too sure. Um, this Needle King does not have the Choice Scarf. It has the Life Life Orb. Uh, hoping it would do more, but uh, it doesn't do that much actually. And uh, the Gudra is gonna be able to hit off its Muddy Water, even though it's confused, which I thought was pretty crappy. I was hoping it would hit, and uh, I, for some reason, with uh, I managed to live, which I probably shouldn't be complaining. And uh, the curse is going to take out the Galvantula, so the Galvantula wasn't too much to worry about. Which is really good because, you know, you know we don't really have to worry about it. And uh, now it's going to be like uh, Will's amazing Thunderdog Jolteon, who is going to put so much work. One Thunderbolt does almost one hit KOs at um, Togekiss. The bad thing though is it does activate the weakness policy, which... It's okay though, because it almost takes it out, and uh, it lives a plus two uh, Dazzling Gleam, so that's really good on Jolteon. And uh, even though it's still confused, it's still going to be able to pull off the Muddy Water, but Thunderdog is going to be able to dodge it, which is still pretty good, amazing. And uh, that Jolteon is putting in work, even though it has very, very low HP. And now, now I'm going to send out my Shiny Guja, and uh, it scares off. I think it scares off, or he just switches out to his um, Grand Bowl, and uh, it's a fairy Pokemon, so I'm not really into that, because there was two fairy Pokemon, since, uh, but now there's only one, so there's nothing really to worry about, and uh, I do go for the Power Whip, and it hits, even though it has a shaky 85 accuracy, I think, and so now uh, the Avalog is here, and uh, this thing is really defensive. But um, me and Will both have um, especially offensive Pokemon, so that Avalog is just going to appear, look pretty, and uh, going to get KO'd. And that was Ryan's last Pokemon, so things aren't looking too good now for um, Ryan and Ivan. 
But uh, on the good side, his play rough did not kill my Gujo, which is something I actually thought I was going to die. But um, apparently his lax nature and uh, plus like 100 EVs and uh, defense actually was good. And uh, now that his Gujo is here, his Gujo is the uh, especially offensive one. And that's going to be trouble for us because Jolteon is only... I think Jolteon is uh, especially offensive and so is my Gujo. And uh, it's going to take us quite a while to take this thing out. Uh, he, the Thunder Dog was awesome again. He got, he gets really lucky with his Jolteon. He dodges a lot of moves and he's just pretty awesome. I do go for the Draco Meteor, but since the Draco Meteor has like 90% uh, accuracy or something like that, it's not the best accuracy. And uh, yeah, it didn't hit. And if it would have hit, um, it'd probably, you know, do more damage. And right here, I think I predicted he was going to switch out to his Grand Bowl because he saw that I was going for the, um, the Draco Meteor. So I was like, oh, he's probably going to switch to his Fairy Pokemon to avoid the damage. But instead he doesn't. He stays in. So I'm like, okay. So I, I just went with it. I, I, apparently I gave him a plus two in a special attack because of the Sap Sipper. But it's not going to do too much because I do go for the Draco Meteor again and I hit it this time. And that's really good. Because the Gudra is almost dead now, and it's just amazing. And uh, he is going to finish me off right here, and that's going to be at the end of me and my Shiny Gudra. Which sucks, but you know, Shiny Gudra did uh, Draco Meteor, and it was already at minus two special attacks, so there was no reason to keep it. Uh, probably just for a bait or something, but um, now it's only Will and Ivan right now. They both have two Pokemons. And, uh... Yeah, Ivan goes for the Fire Blast. I think the Fire Blast does kill the Jolteon. But the Jolteon did more than enough work to uh, do damage to their entire team, which is awesome. And uh, now it's a 1v2, but uh, the Gudra does not have much left. It's paralyzed, it's in red hell. So that Gudra is pretty much uh, useless, and um, Will just switches into his Charizard, and Charizard is just going to fly away and uh, KO it the next turn. Uh, I think the reason he went for Fly is because um, I don't think his Gudra is too defensive and so it can just easily be taken out with a physical move and I don't think, I'm not too sure what other moves he had but uh, he does go for another Fly again and um, yeah the Fly is going to be able to not take him out of this turn but in the next turn I think, the next time he uses Fly and uh, that is going to be the battle uh, Will actually comes and takes the win with us, so um, props to Team Will. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this battle, and uh, Will is just going to win it right now. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next time.